Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Stromberg Carlson 4000 series 5th wheel louvered tailgate, part number VGM-14-4000. What differentiates this tailgate from the rest is it has more of a beefier look to it, and there's maximum room for adjustment so you can help remain that factory look. The Stromberg Carlson louvered tailgate is the perfect addition for when towing your 5th wheel or gooseneck trailer. It has that convenient cutout design that's going to help improve your visibility when backing up or towing your trailer. It also has a vented design that could improve your fuel economy. The easy to use locking latch comes with two keys and it prevents anyone from removing it. With it unlocked, it's just a quick turn to the right and it's going to work with or without lift assist. With it down, I'd like to point out that it does include safety cables so you don't have to remove them from your factory tailgate. It has a weight capacity of 100 pounds. It's not designed to be a step, so be sure not to stand or sit on it. The inside frame is constructed out of a molded steel, so it's going to be strong and durable. The outside is a glass-filled composite, so it has a rugged design and it's going to resist rust and corrosion. Now I'll show you how easy it is to install. Before we begin our test fit, we've got some assembly that we've got to do. So we're just gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 3 8 wrench. Now our tailgate comes with two pivot brackets. This one right here is gonna be for our tailgates with lift assist. The other one is for without lift assist. Since our tailgate does have a lift assist, we're gonna be using this one. What we'll need to do is we'll need to come from the inside and position it out like that. And then we can go ahead and run our hardware. Now the head of the screw needs to be on the outside. We'll put on our lock nut on the inside. Once we've got them hand tightened, we can just tighten them up. All right, now we can move on to installing our clips. Now our hardware is gonna be coming up through the bottom, so we'll be sure to position it this way here. Line it up with a hole and then just push it on into place like that. For our next clip, it's gonna install on top here, and once again, our hardware is gonna be coming up through the bottom. So we'll just install it like so. Now we can grab our cover and put it in place. Now since we're working with the passenger side, we'll need to make sure and grab the passenger side cover. We're going to put this portion on first. It's going to go on this side. So we'll line it up and we can just kind of roll it over to the other side. And then just push it down into place. Just like that. Now we'll just make sure and line up the hole here. Take our hardware and get that started. Now there's no reason to tighten this down all the way just yet, just get it snug because there may be room for adjustment from side to side once we get it installed on our truck. Then for our other side, it's just gonna go the same way. Let's again, just line up those holes and run that hardware through. For these two holes on each side, we're gonna be running this hardware, but what we wanna do is we wanna save them till last and make sure we get everything adjusted. For demonstration purposes, we won't be installing those. For our driver's side, we can take our PVC spacer, go ahead and put that in. For our bushing, we're actually going to put this on our truck before we put our louvered tailgate on. So we're just gonna set that down for now. Now we can move on to removing our factory tailgate. Our tailgate has a backup camera, so we'll need to be sure and disconnect that first. And our disconnect for that camera is gonna be located just underneath our driver's side next to our spare tire. So it's just gonna be located right here. We've actually got a red clip that we need to pull down on this side here. Then we can just squeeze it and it comes undone. Now we can drop down our tailgate and we can disconnect our safety cables. So we need to lift up to get rid of some of that tension Then we can just pull out on the clip and then disconnect it. Then we'll just repeat the same process on the other side. Then once our cables are disconnected, on the passenger side, we can lift out, and then we're gonna walk my way. Once it's disconnected, we can then guide that backup camera cable out. Then we can grab that bushing, and we'll put it on the driver's side here. Now we can bring in our new louvered tailgate. We'll wanna connect that driver's side first, We'll line up our hole there with the bushing, push it on into place. Then for the passenger side, we'll line that up and push it in place. 
With it seated correctly, let's go ahead and close it up and make sure that it fits. Now we know it closes properly, but as you can see with the space here, we've got a little bit of adjustment that we need to do with our cover. Since we didn't tighten these down all the way, we can actually just move it over on the top and on the bottom until it seals that up nicely. As you can see with that gap closed, it is contoured nicely. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Now we can install our included safety cables. So we'll take the pole end here, line it up with the opening here, get our bolt started. Now it's just a half inch size. So we can just get that nice and snug. Then for the looped end, we'll just attach it to our safety cable connection and we're all set. We can repeat the same process for the other side. Now that we know everything fits properly and everything's connected, now would be the time that you could take your hardware and run that into these permanent spots here. And that's going to complete our test fit on the Stromberg Carlson 4000 series fifth wheel louvered tailgate, part number VGM-14-4000 on our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.